Hey there, hope this works Dave back in the shop again uh, for another Popwood shop tip. This one's a router tip and I gotta say, I, I consider myself to be an old dog, but this was one that I hadn't seen and when I saw it, I was blown away. It was in our archives looking back through some old issues and this one was so cool I was in a hurry to actually come and put it on camera for you because this is so slick. Um, router bases on routers, and we've got a laminate trimmer here, are always essentially designed so that you can use them from either side without having a change in the location of the center. Well, here's the fun part. If you change that location, you can do some pretty cool stuff. What we've done is we've taken the base and we've made it a rectangle like here. And the size matters only because of the size router you're using. Check the base that you're already in, in use with and you can take the plate off to figure that for sure, okay? But you can also make this to adjust in different increments like the piece of paper I've got here showing, two different pieces. This one is, a, I think it's a four by four and this one's bigger and actually it's exactly I can tell you. We cut this base four and a quarter by four and an eighth, okay? And so it's a rectangle and that makes a difference. Basically the way you lay this out so that the hole is offset and it gives you the different increments is to measure, in this case, two inches to the center from one side. Let me get a pencil here. Two inches this way and then two and a sixteenth down. That's gonna be your center. Because it's a rectangle again, that makes this offset down here two and three sixteenths and this one two and an eighth. So what you've done is, this is a zero cut set to zero to two inches. So this is the side that you'd run your fence on and if it's set at zero, you get a two inch center. If you run it with this edge, you get a two and a sixteenth. This edge two and an eighth. This one two and three sixteenths. Pretty cool, pretty simple. And again, a bigger size. This one is the one that we actually have on here. This one is cut at five inches in one direction and four and a half in another. Rather than the sixteenth offset, this one actually has a quarter inch offset. So each time you rotate the router to a different face of the base, you get an extra quarter of an inch away from the guide. How do you do that? Well, you take the plate off of the router, cut your, your board to size, and you're gonna find your center. So again, we're working with a smaller one here, so I measured two inches over, made a mark here, two and a sixteenth down, and made a mark here. That's our new center location. Take your plate, you put it in there, that's essentially what you're gonna do. You're gonna locate your holes. Now, you need to make sure that you're working from the right side of the base. On this one, the holes are recessed so that they're flush. So this is the down side of the plate. This, so you can read it, is the top side of the plate. So in this case, you're gonna locate it this way so that they're in the right place. So you'll find your center, make your marks, and then drill your holes. You've noticed that I've marked, hopefully, zero plus a sixteenth plus an eighth plus three sixteenths. That way you'll know which side you need to rotate. Once you've got your plate this way, then you wanna take a bit to make clearance holes and again, countersink from the bottom so that you recess those screws. Then you take a Forstner bit of whatever size you need, drill your center hole, mark it with a good marker so you can see it, and your base is done and ready to use. Honestly, I could have used a little more base because it's a little harder to see this, but you can see three, six, three, what is that? Three, three quarters, half, and a quarter inch there. I've gone ahead and set the depth of the router, so just I'm basically taking about a quarter of an inch of a depth cut. That's all we need to show you what we're doing. I'm gonna make four passes using this as my guide edge. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the zero edge to make the first pass run all the way, then turn it, make the next one stopping partway, partway, and partway for each step. So you can see how it widens out as we go. A uh, little tip while you're here, for any plywood base, a little bit of paraffin on here, makes it work a lot nicer. Super simple, and we're ready to go. Got to plug this in. Find my zero setting side right here and go to town. And there you go. We can see the progression of the piece of the width as we turn the base to a different side. We've got a half inch to begin with the long piece, three quarters, one inch, 
an inch and a quarter just by turning the base. And you don't have to do this just to whiten out. You could actually just use this as a reference point saying that you need to make the <clears throat> one piece that's a half an inch, turn it all the way, and you've got it offset by a half an inch. So there is a very cool router trick for today, uh, one that I'm going to use in my shop. I think it's one that you'll find a place for in your shop. And hang on till the next time, and we'll show you some more great shop tips from Popwood.